Surprise, surprise, Modern Warfare got some new content today alongside the Cold War Mid-Season 2 update for Warzone. And for those of you that have played Cold War, I think this new map takes the title of worst map to use a chopper gunner on from Checkmate in Cold War. It's brutally bad. But yeah, there were three new multiplayer maps added to Modern Warfare today that I'll be showing you in this video, one of which has an interactive firing range in it, which is a feature people have been asking for in the past and this kind of fulfills that request which is pretty neat yo how's it going my name is sinister skater welcome to the channel the release of new content is always great but there is a downside with this i think the release of these maps is a sign that we're seeing the last of additional modern warfare content i want to cover these maps before we get into why that is though remember if you enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing look at the graph a majority of my views come from people who are not subscribed to the channel so if you're a freaking viewer of mine consider subscribing. First of the three new maps here we have is Kill House, which is the main gameplay you'll be seeing throughout this video. Kill House was originally a Call of Duty format from years and years ago, and it is a copy and paste from COD 4 into Modern Warfare with a new lighting system. It is a small map and it has some pretty wonky spawns. After playing a couple games on it, I feel like it's a middle ground between like a shipment and a shoot house. The reason being is there's a lot of head-on-head -head fighting, but there's a lot of chaos and head-on fighting and some weird spawns that happen like you would get in shipment. Although the spawns rarely do flip on kill house, there are some weird spawns you will get in this. You'll spawn on top of people you just killed, people will spawn on top of you, and you just better be on top of your game when you get into a match of kill house. Second map we have here is Drainage, which is a gunfight slash face-off map. Really reminds me of, I, don't, I can't think of the name of it right now, but that rainy map from Modern Warfare 2 that had like that broken highway on part of it. Drainage really reminds me of that map. Drainage looks like it has a bunch of routes and lines of sight that counter each other. I haven't had a chance to get into a game yet. I've tried to get in a couple gunfights, but it just wouldn't pop up in pubs. But it's definitely something that I would like to check out myself. The last map we have here is Al Rab Airbase, which is a 6v6 map. Not only because of the aesthetics of the map, but the design of it just reminds me of old school, like modern warfare games. It seems like it would play pretty well, but there is this weird split thing on one side of the spawn, which really limits the way you can move around the map. And it reminds me a lot of Sudal Harbor, which isn't the greatest thing. But uh, on the other side of the map is where you will find the firing range. Uh, this is like a firing range you would have seen in any other Call of Duty, it's just not as fancy. Uh, the body targets don't move as much, but the circle plates that are uh, kind of fine throughout the firing range and they're on the back of some of the body targets, those will move if you do hit them. And they are pretty small, so you have to be pretty accurate to hit them. So while this isn't a specific like quick load firing range feature, this is something you could load into a private match and to put the game time onto unlimited and test out a bunch of different weapons to your liking. It actually functions a lot like the World War II firing range that was in the headquarters. You had to travel to that and then you could uh, you know try out a bunch of different guns that way but as I said at the top of this video sadly I think this release of maps is uh, the sign of the end of modern warfare content towards the end of modern warfare's life cycle there was that rumor of is there or is there not going to be a season seven because it seemed like they had one more season's worth of content they were sitting on we had obviously these three maps they were sitting on and those i think there's three new weapons like the psychop pistol and lmg i think something else that you could use at spec ops at one point or another you might be able to use it currently i don't know but i feel like ever since the end of season six they've been sitting on this content deciding what to do with it they could have either done like one more big who and just release a bunch of content whether that be for a season seven or not which i always thought they wouldn't do because that would steal the spotlight from black ops cold war which means either they just cancel the content and never release it or they randomly drop it like they just did now we still have those weapons that they are sitting on uh, and again those could be scrapped but i find that unlikely because we've seen them pop up in Warzone within the last couple of months so they could either randomly drop them which uh could be a thing they just randomly drop it like a couple months from now into modern warfare just to add some fresh content for people who play that game 
or I could see them also adding them into the weapon loot pool at the launch of like season three when they launch a brand new Cold War map. They have said that Modern Warfare guns still will be usable in Warzone. So if that's the case and there is a new Cold War map, that would be a perfect time to have a huge moment in Call of Duty. We have new Cold War content, new Warzone content with new Modern Warfare guns. And also you have these Modern Warfare guns dropped within Modern Warfare itself for people to use in there. So if you've been waiting to get your hands on these new weapons, I wouldn't get your hopes up, but I, I will say it is looking very likely that we'll see those added fairly soon. If you guys are into Warzone, there was a really big update that added some new features to the game that I did a video on. That'll be on the screen right now if you want to go check that out. Make sure you guys like the video. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help support the channel directly. There are some links down below in the description that you can check out. Peace.